What is going on Super Channel fam? Thank you for tuning in. Uh, today we're gonna be taking a look at my car. Actually had a little bit of an incident with the vehicle yesterday, last night. Uh, happened to be my birthday, took the car out for a cruise and um, all of a sudden my acceler uh, accelerator pedal went dead. Uh, thought maybe my fuel pump went out, something of the sort. Uh, pull over to the side of the road and after checking fuel pressure, everything else looking fine, on uh, closer inspection, timing belt actually snapped on the car. Uh, unfortunately, the motor is interference now with the uh, big 276 cams. Uh, it was just cruising when this happened. So hopefully, you know, probably being a little optimistic here, but hopefully nothing is hurt inside. We'll know once we replace the timing belt on the car and, uh, and do a compression test on it. But just to give you guys a little bit of a rundown, if you take a look here, this is what the what the timing belt look look like. Yep, and this is a brand new OEM Toyota timing belt. Um, as you can see, hey, you can still see the plenty of life on the belt. No cracking anywhere. I mean, this has a thousand miles on it from when the motor was built. Um, we did narrow down the issue. Uh, everything here seems to be a okay, with the exception of. All right, so. Shout out to uh, Real Street and Jay because as soon as I, uh, we actually, hold on, where's the new one? We went to the Toyota dealer today on, what is it, Friday, almost Thanksgiving, I mean, not Thanksgiving, almost uh, Christmas. Merry Christmas, by the way, by the time you guys watch this, it'll probably be Christmas. Picked up a new uh, timing belt, so we're about to put that on just to, you know, get the car running, make sure there's no issues with the, with the valves or anything. And as soon as we we're going to take out the tensioner, I noticed that it was in like a smooth you know, it wasn't a smooth, like a, like the, 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 the wiggle side to side, it wasn't like as smooth as it should be. So I remember Real Street posted a video, uh, probably like, uh, two months ago. Mm -hmm. Um, probably I'm gonna link it down below so you guys can see it. And Jay specifically talks about these, uh, I guess you call them cheap or non off brand, uh, tensioners. They are billet, but it doesn't have the brass sleeve and you can see all the corrosion built up in there. Uh, I'll, I'll post a picture, but the bolt was just the same exact way and I guess the metal on metal But it builds up over time just kind of Sits there and then maybe instead of having that tension it just kind of sits on top of the One of these teeth I guess it just tries to escape it and maybe just like snapped it when you know when it, it just caught in the wrong place Yeah, so definitely Big big disclaimer. That's why I decided to make this video Don't cheap out. I know these parts everybody thinks is hey bill it bill it You know, what's what's 150 bucks compared to 250? Real Street has done the research and they obviously know what the problem is. You know, that breath insert definitely needs to be there. So, so this problem doesn't occur. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, the main purpose of this video is to, uh, you know, to show, uh, to show you guys to not to stay away from these. If you definitely have one of these, throw them away. My car's here now. I was kind of like even scared about it this morning. We actually just ordered two from Real Street and I'm going to be taking it apart and take mine out because I know I did this mistake too and I ordered one. I mean, I am running one from eBay and I don't want this mistake to happen. Yeah. And guys, you know, if you're happy to be putting your motor together, I happen to have this tensioner now for, I'd like to say five or six years. Um, you know, if you're putting together a motor, it's definitely not worth it to reuse one of these, um, you know, because now potentially uh, a motor that I put maybe a thousand miles on it could have bent valves on it um, over a hundred dollar part price difference, which I just didn't know any better. Um, you know, if I would have known that difference and thankfully, you know, Jay and real street, they're, they're awesome at providing information to us and still supplying new parts to the community. So shout out for that. Um, you know, because if I would have known that this was a potential issue, I would have replaced it at the time of building the motor. Um, so we'll keep you guys updated. We're going to go ahead. We're waiting on that tensioner to come in tomorrow. We'll be installing it on the car and then running a compression test. Hopefully. And once again, probably being optimistic here because the 276 cams do make the motor interference. Hopefully everything is, is healthy. If not, you know, we will have a little build series, pulling the head off the car um, and uh, yeah, the inspecting the, the valves. Down. The worst thing is like, it wasn't even like, if you say you were like in the middle of a race or like a, you know, a 30 something pool, but this was just literally cruising on the highway, you know, just, just bad, you know. And then if this solves anybody like, you know, potential problem like myself, definitely go back, take it apart, take that tension off and throw it away. So. Yeah, guys, learn from our mistakes. Um, definitely, definitely uh, want to give a huge shout out to 
Uh, Jay and the Real Street team and Zach who always takes care of me. Um, we should have those tensioners in by tomorrow here in Florida. They usually have next day shipping, which is phenomenal. Um, so stay tuned. We'll keep you guys updated with uh, hopefully the, yeah, the no, no carnage. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's um, a horrible birthday yeah. present. <laughs> so thank you guys. All right. Are you fine? Yeah. So far, the first two look fine. Bro, every time I see like spark plugs and removing it, I think about Pedro. <laughs> yeah. That must be that must be painful. Yeah, that's a bad one. It's like it's not coming out. It's not coming out. Oh. Uh -oh. Nah, it's good. <laughs> it's loose. Yeah. It just came off the... Yeah, when there's impact, to... I mean, all of these look good, which is. Went to a local um, AutoZone. What's this thing called again? It's called the Boroscope. To check out the top of the piston, see if there's any uh, any carnage. Mm, it's tough to. there yeah where it's lifted all right everybody day two and like we mentioned earlier real street always coming through with um, next day delivery here in florida for us so i mean they're the go-to people if you need any parts See the little uh, brass insert on the uh, aluminum bracket fillet. Beautiful piece by Real Street. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get a side by side shot with the, uh, with the original one. We'll go ahead and take off the pulley so you can see the differences. I wasn't lying. There's two of them. The other one's for me. <laughs> I made the same mistake. Yeah, even going in is smooth, huh? Yeah, when I took it out, Super it was smooth. It was like fighting me a little bit. Yeah, look. Yeah. Definitely not how the other one was. Nope. Remember, 28 foot pounds of torque. Do not do not over the torque down because I have broken this one before and it's not fun. You gotta change the whole oil pump if you do that. And the motor has to come out. Yep, not fun. Careful, this guy's been working out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just want to make sure after you tore it. We mentioned this guy's like in little shorts, a t shirt. <laughs> While the rest of the country is like on single digits. Uh, there we go. 28 foot pounds, make sure it doesn't bind. Yeah. That's how it needs to be free like that. Timing belt. Remember, Toyota facing you, not the back part. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. will give you shit about it for a long time if you put it that way, or I see it on your car. You made me turn it around. <laughs> I had to take off crank, pulley, all that fun stuff. <laughs>
so just quick closing to the video. Um, unfortunately, uh, once we put the new timing belt on and the new tensioner, uh, the car is kind of misfiring. It took a little bit to start. Um, clearly an indicator that something is off. Um, everything is timed up properly, so it's not a timing issue. Uh, so, you know, I'm gonna run a compression test uh, just to, you know, 100% be sure that that's what the issue is, that there are bent valves. Um, but more than likely, head's gotta come out. Uh, probably gonna have to replace a couple heads, a uh, couple of valves. Um, but hey, it's a part of the game. Uh, when you start uh, dealing with uh, higher horsepower stuff, stuff breaks and, um, you know, it's, it's a part of it. So, um, you know, gonna work on pulling the head off in the next coming days and I'll keep you guys posted. What's going on everyone? Um, it's Christmas Eve. I wanted to kind of close out the video uh, separate from what Joel did. Um, you guys always see what happened. He looks like he has some head damage. So guys, just want to quickly throw this out there. It's, you can see mine's here. There's a came we ordered them together. New uh, time belt tensioner from Real Street. Uh, again, guys, this is not a sponsorship or anything from them. I'm not, you know, they, they have their parts, but they know the reason why. Jay specifically said in his video, I'm gonna link it down below, that he's seen it happen and look, it happened. So let this be a lesson. I'm gonna change mine before I even, you know, even that runs, that's in the runs in my head because that's horrible. That's a couple thousand dollars that I really do not want to get into and I don't think anybody does. Um, so guys, um, take it as a lesson. I, I did go ahead and put one on the GS, but on the Supra build, which was supposed to be a nicer build, I didn't, you know, I didn't go that route. You know, everybody thinks it's even myself. I'm not saying everybody. It's a piece of metal, piece of metal, a hundred bucks saving, you know, go for the, go for the cheap one. But here, you obviously need that brass insert. If you do get another one that's not real street, make sure it's a brass insert. So you don't have that metal on metal uh, binding on each other and you don't have that corrosion buildup and it doesn't happen. So guys, uh, Merry Christmas. Um, like and subscribe to the channel and I will catch you guys in the next one. Guys, I hope this was a good lesson because it's not fun. Man. I feel bad for Joe now. And probably the worst thing, it happened on his birthday. So that's a, that's a bad way to start 34, man. But props to him and he's keeping his head up. Good guy. Later, guys.